All right, so this is the original sprocket, and this is the new one. This is 30 teeth versus 46. Obviously, this is going to be smaller. It's going to give us more ground clearance, but we are going to have to redo the jack shaft to compensate for the change in gearing. But uh, it's going to be better. It's going to have more ground clearance. So something I kind of didn't plan on, which is kind of awesome, this new one has the exact same bolt pattern and bolt size as the old one, which is awesome. I thought I was going to have to make a new hub, but it looks like I don't. We can just simply swap these out. All right, so we were able to remake these bars uh, because of the smaller sprocket to give us more ground clearance. You guys, I already said this, you, got, you get the idea. We also were able to uh, lower this bar, so therefore we can, uh, it realigns everything and it all works together. Now, I did measure and I did see if there's any movement between this axle and the jack shaft. I put this bar right here, this is where the jack shaft is going to go, um, roughly right there. I measured, uh, this is where the suspension rests, I measured from, from the axle to where the jack shaft, shaft is going to be and then I moved the suspension up to all the way it'll go and it only, it did move, which is kind of, it's not great, but it, did, it only moved half an inch, which is not that bad for, you know, just slapping this together and not really, you know, measuring anything or whatever, so it's, it does move, which means the, cha the chain is going to get looser when the suspension moves up but by only ha half an inch, so I think, that's, I think it's good enough, we can move on. So now we can install the seat. How I'm planning on doing this is I want to take the shocks, uh, we're going to measure how much travel they have, and then we're going to take that measurement and figure out where the uh, suspension will bottom out, we'll place it there and keep it there, and uh, then we can figure out where the seat can go, how low it can go. Just to make sure that the suspension will clear the seat so if it ever bottoms out, it doesn't slam into the, into the bottom of this thing. You don't want that to happen. Alright, so I got the seat installed, not installed, but I got it, you know, where I want it. Now, I'll, I want to I have the seat as far back as possible to give us as much leg room, 
but I don't want to like push this seat and keep cutting into this plastic. I didn't want to really cut into this uh, sticker right here, so I moved it as far back. And it looks great, you know, it looks great. The seat looks uh, like in a good position, but then you take this off and you see that I can still move this back like three or four inches. So to solve this issue, I thought about just cutting more plastic off of this, but then I realized just why don't I just move both of these back a little bit more? Instead of, you know, lining the seat up with this, why don't I put the seat and then move this as far forward as possible so therefore it'll still rest up against here, but it'll but they'll both be further back. So it'll uh the back wheel wells will line up a little bit better with the rear axle. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but it's you know it's still cool, so it's, it'll still work. So Let's, uh, let's break these off, let's move this thing back a little bit more, and uh, readjust that to fit around the seat. Alright, so I'm finally ready to start working on the steering. Now, I'm not going to try and explain how I'm going to do the steering setup. I'll explain that uh, after I build it. Um, what I want to talk to you about is steering, steering wheel versus handlebars. What are we going to use on this thing? Now, me and Lee have been talking about this for quite a while. We're trying to figure out what's going to work the best. We're weighing the pros and cons towards steering wheel versus handlebars. And we are 
leaning towards handlebars. Here's why. So remember, we have five controls that we need to have to control this thing. We have front brakes, rear brakes, throttle, clutch, and gear shifter. If we do a steering wheel, we can do left foot uh, gear shifter, right foot rear brake, but that leaves us with a uh, clutch, throttle, and front brake on the steering wheel. That's kind of a lot, that's a little overcomplicated, and it's just, you know, it's, don't want to do that. It's, that's out. So we think handlebars is going to work the best. Now I want to have all the controls, just like a quad, so therefore if, uh, if anybody else wants to drive this thing, I don't have to explain for five minutes, you know, your clutch is over here, your throttle's over here, gear shifter's over here, I don't, don't want to do that. It's overcomplicating everything. So therefore, we're going to set this thing up just, just like a quad. So therefore, if anybody wants to drive this thing, I can simply just tell them it's set up like a quad. So therefore, they instantly know where all the controls are. So I'm thinking about using this handlebar. Um, it's not the nicest. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely seen as better days. But uh, it's what I have, so let's go with it. I'm definitely going to shorten these. I don't want to have them, you know, this wide. I'm kind of want, I'm thinking about shortening them to like somewhere around here. So, uh... You know, I know, I know, I know. Steering wheel is gonna look a lot better, but this is going to perform a lot better. I'm mainly aiming more towards performance with this thing. So we're going handlebars. Alright, finally figured out the steering. Now this is super over complicated, but this is how I had to build this with uh, just how this whole suspension front setup is designed. Now, the awesome thing with this is it has zero bump steer. And uh, no, it's not going to hit there. These, uh, these shocks don't have that much travel, so it's only going to really travel. We don't really have that much travel in the front, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, due to the large engine, and using these shocks, you know, we're limited to, I think it's a, 
maybe like four inches of travel in the front, which is not great, but that's whatever. So it's, uh, this is not going to hit that. I've already measured it. But uh, now I do want to strengthen this, this up a little bit more. Uh, I'm wanting to add more of these tabs to like the top of each heim joint on each side to strengthen them. And I'm also thinking about adding like some uh, just metal, uh, metal rods to each side of here to strengthen that up as well and possibly uh, put something on here on the top to, to strengthen this bolt to keep it from bending. So uh, hopefully this is going to be strong enough to turn these giant wheels and hopefully nothing will bend, hopefully nothing will break if you know we hit uh, something or if one wheel catches on something or you know whatever. So. so let's put the tires back on here, put the suspension back on and see how well this actually works. Alright, so we finally got the steering figured out. Now, I'm a little concerned about the amount of play this thing has. It's not terrible, but, you know, I, I kind of want this thing to be perfect just because of what it is. So, hopefully once we, uh, you know, weld everything together and strengthen it and add gussets everywhere, hopefully it will uh, eliminate most of this play. Um, we also installed the jack shaft in this video. I did make it adjustable so it can move back and forth to a to uh, tension the chain. Um, I do want to add more pieces to the top, so therefore connect the jack shaft to directly to the engine, so therefore hopefully all the uh, strain of the chain pulling the jack shaft and the engine together will just transfer directly to the engine and no flex will happen in the, in the uh, chassis. So everything we do is just one step closer to getting this thing finished, running, and be able to do our final first test drive this thing so be patient we are almost almost there with getting our first test drive we still need to do uh a lot of stuff actually there's still a lot of work we need to do uh before we can do a test drive but don't worry we will eventually finally do it so just be patient we are almost getting there so anyway i gotta end this video here now to thank go power sports for sending us the parts we've used for this product links for everything will be in the description below go check that out I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. I know a steering wheel is gonna look the best, but I'm mainly aiming the more toward more towards. I know a steering wheel is gonna look the best, but I'm mainly aiming more no, no, uh, aiming more towards. I know a steering wheel is going to look the best, but handlebars is going to perform a lot better, and I'm mainly aiming toward more, more, more towards performance. Why is that hard to say? More towards performance. I'm aiming more towards performance. Why is that hard to say?